Have a moment, please. Thank goodness Ethan's finally here. And it's about time. It doesn't matter, Mother. He isn't here to help me. He is too late to help me. I told you Ethan would choose me. He didn't show up to defend Gwen because he is still in love with me. Mr. Winthrop, I believe you were on the docket as Mrs. Winthrop's attorney. That's right, Your Honor. You're late. I've already made my ruling in this case. Your Honor, I can explain my tardiness. May I approach? Come on, let's hear it. I'm sorry I am so late. Where were you? Oh, I got hung up with Sam and Jessica. Well, Ethan just got here. The district attorney has already presented his case. But Ethan wasn't here to refute any of it. I'm afraid my Gwen is done for. No, no. I think it's over. The judge revoked my bail, and I'm going back to jail today. No, Gwen, it, it can't be over. It can't be too late. Ethan is here now, isn't he? And I I'm sure he's going to fight to keep you out of jail. I mean, Ethan got here after the hearing was over. He just left Gwen hanging there. And I really don't know that he's going to do anything for her now. I don't know whose side he's on. Gwen's or Teresa's? I want my money, Ned. Aren't you going to answer it, Fancy? Absolutely not. But it's from Harmony again. I, I bet it's your mother. Even more reason not to answer. Why not? Isn't it time for her semi-annual call? More like an annual hello from your mother <laughs> obligatory call. She's tried to call you twice in the last few minutes. I mean, maybe it's some kind of an emergency and she has to get in touch with you. Nothing would induce her to call me in an emergency. That's what my brother's for. She's never needed to talk to me for any reason, and I'm sure she's relieved I'm not answering. She won't have to pretend to be the caring and concerned mother. Clock's ticking, Ned. You got 15 seconds to honor your debt. Or? Or I'll be forced to take steps. You're in a time warp, Lester. Times have changed, you know? These things aren't handled like they were back in the old days. Call me old-fashioned. You owe me money, you pay. One way or another. You're down to seven seconds, Ned, and I know you don't want your time to run out. Oh, didn't you hear what I said? We've got a moment, Bethy! Running around like a maniac. What did you say about Luis and Sheridan? They know we were at the mansion last night with Alistair. We have got to get out of town, but they know. Well, how, how did they find out? It was Eve Russell. Oh. I went to see her today. She let it slip that she saw us leaving the mansion. Oh, God. You know it's going to take all about five minutes for Luis to figure it out. He's a cop. He's going to put two and two together and realize that you got Alistair to help you kidnap Sheridan and steal the baby. He's going to know that everything Sheridan has said is right. So will you please start packing? We've got to get out of Dodge right now. Okay, just calm down. Just because Eve saw us leaving the mansion does not mean that she went and told Luis and Sheridan. Did she ask why we were there? Oh, oh, no, well, no, no, I didn't give her a chance. I got out of there as fast as I could. Bethy, I know she is going to tell Luis, and then the secret is going to be out. We have got to get out of harmony. We are done for, Missy. <laughs> Come on, I want to go to Beth's right now Sher and get her to tell us Sheridan, the truth. Sheridan, Sheridan, slow down, okay? And we can't just go over to Beth's making wild accusations without any proof. Why? Eve Russell told us that she saw my father at the mansion with Beth and her mother. 
And so did the maid that we just talked to. All right, she also said that she heard them talking about some secret, something that my father didn't want anyone to know. So it's obvious that they're hiding something. Well, maybe. And I think that we should try and find out. Oh, but... Well, look, you have been saying for a while now that you couldn't possibly see how Beth could do all of this on her own, kidnap me and steal my baby. And I've been saying that maybe she didn't. Maybe she had help. Maybe it was my father. Well, I certainly can't imagine your father doing some sort of thing like this. I mean, ever since we met, he's been trying to break us apart. Exactly. And the last thing he wants is your child as his grandson. But I cannot imagine Beth being involved in such a diabolical plot. And once again, we still do not have any proof. Maybe not now. Once we get to Beth's, I am going to make her tell us the truth. And I am not leaving her house until she admits that she kidnapped me and stole my baby. I would hold the hand of the one who could leave my places And kiss the lips of the one who could sing so sweet And I would fly on the wings of a bird I knew could take me high as breathing He must be asking her if he can present your case, right? That's, that's it. Ethan, I will never abandon you, Gwen. My son is determined to keep his vows to you, no matter what that tramp Teresa does. What do you think they're talking about, Mia? I'm sure Ethan's explained to the judge that he was late because he believes that Gwen should go back to jail. Do you really think he's given up on Gwen? I mean, he said he never abandoned her. He loves me, Whitney. He chose me. I've just been told by Mrs. Winthrop's counsel that there's new evidence in the case. And in light of this new development, I'm going to revoke my previous ruling until all the evidence can be heard. What? Oh, thank God. I knew Ethan wouldn't let you down, sweetie. So did I. What's, what's going on? What does this mean? It means Gwen is still free on bail for now. No, no. no. Ethan wouldn't do this to me, okay? He's on my side. Well, Ethan has obviously found some new evidence he thinks will help his wife. No. Well, Ethan, I'm so glad you're here. You did not desert me. Honey, I told you I wouldn't. All right, Mr. Winthrop, you may present your evidence. We are wasting uh, Sweetheart, time. please, I know that you're excited, okay? I know that you think you're finally going to prove that all these things you've been saying about Beth are true. It, it is true. And now with my father in the picture, this makes perfect sense. Yes, but all we know for a fact is that your father was with Beth and her mother last night at the mansion. Isn't that enough? What other reason would my father have to be with Beth and Mrs. Wallace if they're not in cahoots? I don't know, all right? Look, I just, I, I just think that we need to take this one step at a time. Okay, what is the first step? I just think that you should stay here while I go and talk no, to Beth. No, Louise, please, no. Sheridan, please just listen to me for a minute. Beth is already upset at you for accusing her of terrible things. What? Terrible things? Oh, yeah, you mean like kidnapping me, stealing my baby. Yeah, but Sheridan, we don't have any proof, okay? Now, if you go accusing her again, she's just going to go on the defensive, and then we're not going to get any answers. No, you're probably right. Listen, if you're right... Beth kidnapped our baby, I promise you, she will be punished to the fullest extent of the law, okay? Promise. All right. You go alone, but do not let Beth talk her way out of this, because I know what she did. I know Marty is our son, and I know that this is going to prove it. Oh, oh Beth. 
Okay. Will you hang up and pack up? We've got to get out of here. Come on, Alistair. Pick up the phone. You're calling Alistair? Oh, that is not gonna help us, you nit, but he's gonna lie right through his teeth to save himself. Now, let's get moving! No, he will help us. Oh, I'll make sure that he goes down right with us. Oh, shh, shh, shh. We don't know if he has this place bugged or something. But where could he be? <laughs> he is probably on one of his fancy jets getting out of the country by now. No, Alistair Crane doesn't run from anyone, Mother. Betty. Didn't you hear one word that Alistair said? He doesn't want anyone, anyone to know that you are his daughter. And if Sharon finds out, you will lose Marty. Can you see? Then she will know why there was a match with your DNA test of the baby. Hmm? Look, we don't even know if Louise and Sheridan know anything yet. You're getting hysterical over nothing, oh, Mother. Nothing? Nothing. You just don't understand what is happening here, do you, Betty? Your connection to Alistair has been discovered. <gasps> Louise and Sheridan are on to you. So the, there's only one thing left to do, and that is get Marty, get your bags, and let's hit the road, huh? Actually, there is something else I can do. Oh, no. Not murder again. Fred, your time is up, Ned. Look, you're a reasonable man, right? I'm sure there's something we can figure out without this. I am a reasonable man. But you've already told me you're out of money. Now, how many other excuses are you going to come up with? I... Time's up. Take him away. Wait! I hope that's a request and not an order. Because I don't take orders from a Paris Hilton wannabe. <laughs> There's a lot of things I want to be, but Paris Hilton isn't one of them. In fact, Paris wants to be me. Oh, really? Yeah. See, I'm a natural blonde. I'm much richer than she is, and her last two boyfriends dumped her for me. Huh. Now call off your goon, or I'll see to it you're the one who will disappear in the desert. Your Honor, Gwen Winthrop is a woman of exemplary character. She's usually calm and rational. She has never committed a crime, and she has no history of violent behavior. One would think that the charges against her are completely implausible. Yet Mrs. Winthrop admits to them herself. She did, in fact, stab Teresa Lopez Fitzgerald twice and kidnapped her baby. And she should be put away forever. We'll have no interruptions in this court, young lady. Now, I have known Gwen Winthrop for the majority of her life. She has never shown any indication of a violent nature whatsoever. So we have to ask ourselves, what would provoke that kind of behavior that she is being charged with? I have here several medical studies that investigate the side effects of various medications and their interactions with each other. I'd like to submit these into evidence, Your Honor. Yay. The night that Gwen Winthrop attacked Teresa Lopez Fitzgerald, she was given an anti-anxiety drug, an injection. Now, when taken alone, this medication is virtually harmless. The patient will usually just go to sleep. However, if this drug is taken in conjunction with any of the listed prescriptions on that page, it can have dangerous side effects. These appear to be legitimate studies from reputable hospitals. Uh, yes, Your Honor, they appear to be legitimate studies. All right, Mr. Winthrop, cut to the chase. Yes, ma'am. I've additionally included Gwen Winthrop's personal medical history. As you can see, Mrs. Winthrop was already taking two, two of the prescription medications listed, either one of which, when taken in conjunction with that added medication, would cause aberrant behavior, mood swings, 
impaired judgment, and a potential loss of touch with reality. Ladies and gentlemen, it is our contention that when Gwen Winthrop was given that injection, that anti-anxiety drug, it did interact badly with the medication she was previously taking. Therefore, her behavior, mood swings, flawed judgment, was a direct result of the drug that she was given. I object. Order. The prosecution will restrain the claimant or she'll be removed from this court. They're going to throw you out of here if you don't control yourself. Now let me do the objecting. Well, then do the objecting. There's nothing to object to. Ethan has the right to present his evidence. But that is a lie. Gwen knew exactly what she was doing when she, when she attacked me. She tried to kill me twice with a scalpel. Honey, thank you. Thank you so much. You know, when you didn't show up on time, I thought that you were abandoning me and that you were on Teresa's side. Thanks, Mom. Oh, I knew you'd find a way to save Gwenny. <laughs> I haven't done anything yet. You will. Oh, of course you will. I mean, now that the judge knows why Gwen was crazy, I mean, you did lose a, a little bit there, honey, but I mean, now she's going to just drop the charges and give you custody. Whoa, 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 Rebecca. We're a long way from discussing custody. I am just so happy to finally know what happened. I mean, I hate Teresa, but even I can't believe that I actually tried to kill her. It's because you never would have done anything like that in your right mind. You were coming off the drugs when you were at the compound with Catherine. That's when you were turned to thinking rationally. Your Honor, may I address the court? You may. While Mr. Winthrop's evidence is compelling, it is not conclusive. We all know that medical studies can be found to support just about any theory. This evidence just doesn't contain enough documentation, and I'm requesting that the evidence be disallowed. Call that Neanderthal off? You're cute. But I'm not intimidated by your little spoiled rich girl routine. You're saying no to me. Yes, I am. You seem surprised. I'm not used to being turned down for anything. Well, there's a first time for everything. Take him away. Hold it. I forgot to mention, I'm also smarter than Paris Hilton. I didn't expect you to let him go free for nothing. Fancy, are you sure you want to do this? That guy looks pretty scary. I'm sure. Why don't you go? I'll see you later. I believe that little piece of jewelry should more than settle the man's debt, plus give you a nice profit. I believe you're right. Good. So take the watch and we'll call it even. Whoa, wait, wait, wait. I don't want anything from you. It's my fault you lost all that money. So what do you say, Lester? Let him go. If I ever see you in a game with me again, it's going to take more than a diamond watch to save you. I suppose I... Let's get out of here before he changes his mind. You can buy me a drink. The prosecution respects the findings of these institutions, but we contend we need more specific evidence to excuse Mrs. Winthrop's vicious attacks. As your honor knows, drug addicts are sentenced every day for far less serious offenses. Ethan tried. But the judge is going to throw it all out. I'm sure of it. Gwen knew exactly what she was doing when she tried to kill me. Mr. Winthrop, the district attorney has a valid point. Yes, Your Honor. However, 
I do have more evidence to submit. In addition to the case studies, I have here over 250 case histories to support my drug interaction theory. In addition, I have an expert witness willing to testify today. What witness? All right, Counselor. Call your witness. Thank you, Your Honor. Bailiff, call Dr. Eve Russell, please. Dr. Eve Russell. I don't like that look in your eye. Who are you gonna try and murder now? No one. I have a better idea. Better than hitting the road? What is it? You'll see. <sighs> Please call me the minute you get Beth to confess. I will let you know what happens. Detective Lopez Fitzgerald. Luis, it's Beth. Beth, you sound upset. Is everything all right? Is Marty all right? No, Marty's fine. But you're right, I am upset. I have something to tell you. It's important. Can, can you come over? Can you just tell me what's wrong? I'd rather tell you in, in person. It, it's important. Um. I have a confession to make. Confession? Yes. It's terrible. Something horrible to you and Jared. You swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth, so help you God? I do. State your name and occupation. Dr. E. Russell. Why is your mom doing this? I don't know. Shh, Teresa. Try to stay calm. But I can't lose, Mama. I can't. Dr. Russell, are you aware of the drug that was given to Gwen Winthrop the night she attacked Teresa Lopez Fitzgerald? Yes, it was an anti-anxiety drug. Are you also aware of the side effects that the drug has when taken in conjunction with other drugs? Yes. Could you describe those side effects to the court? Your Honor, we'll stipulate that we accept the uh, medical studies already submitted, that the patient could become violent and lose touch with reality. Fine. Move on, Mr. Winthrop. Yes, Your Honor. Dr. Russell, will you testify that you prescribed these two medications to Gwen Winthrop? Yes, I prescribed them. And were you the doctor that gave Gwen Winthrop the injection of the anti-anxiety drug that evening? No. The on-call doctor in the ER gave her the injection. I would have never mixed the drugs because of the terrible side effects. Mm -hmm. Your Honor, this is a statement from Dr. William Baird. He was on call in the ER that evening. He submits that he had no knowledge whatsoever that Gwen Winthrop was on those two prescription medications. Is that correct? Yes, because I don't think he would have given her the injection. He would know that it would make Gwen a, a danger to herself and to everyone around her. Ethan, what are you doing? So to summarize, the on-call doctor saw Gwen's emotional state. He injected her with an anti-anxiety medication with no prior knowledge that she was taking the two prescribed medications that could have interacted badly. Yes. Dr. Russell? Would you submit that this could have caused Gwen's violent behavior? Behavior that's completely uncharacteristic of her? Yes. Could the side effects have induced her to go so far as to attempt murder, kidnap a baby? I think her actions could have been a direct result of the interacting of the drugs. Dr. Russell, thank you. No further questions, Your Honor. Do you want to confess to something that you did to me and Sheridan? Yes. Can 
Can you come over right now? I'll be right over. Yes! Oh my god, this is too good to be true. I can't believe this. She must know that we're on to her, so she figures that if she confesses now, you'll go easy on her. God, I can't believe this. <sighs> I've known Beth my whole life. Lise, do you know what this means? We are finally gonna get our child back. We're finally gonna get Marty. Yeah. Maybe you're right. Maybe Beth has done all the horrible things that you said she's of done. Of course she did, with my father's help. At least we're gonna get our son back. Yeah. This horrible nightmare is gonna be over. You just told Louise that you were gonna confess to everything? What else could I do, Mother? <laughs> Angels in heaven, thank you, thank you for answering my prayers. Bethy is finally gonna confess her sins to Louise and Sharon is gonna get her baby back. <laughs> Bethy, make sure that when you tell Louise everything, you let him know that I am innocent, that it was all you and Alistair, okay? See, I'm, I'm, I'm a victim here, an innocent bystander, huh? Don't worry, Mother. I'll take the blame for all of it. Look, I only let you settle my debt because I know you were the one who tipped off the other player that I didn't have a winning hand. You know, I could have bluffed him and won. I know, but you ticked me off, so I got even. Wait, how did I tick you off? You mean when I called you a hooker? That would be it, yes. <laughs> Sorry about that. I was concentrating on the game. I know. I'm not used to being ignored like that. I'm sure you're not. But I am sorry. I'll forgive you this time. Let's pretend we just met and start all over. All right. Oh, but I'm still going to pay you back. Hmm. He's cute. He's very sexy. And he has a manly sense of pride. I like that. And he's right here. I'm just making some observations out loud. Does it bother you to be called cute and sexy? Not at all, I am. <laughs> <laughs> Do you mind if I make some observations about you? Go ahead. OK. She's beautiful. She's not easily intimidated. And she's obviously very rich. If she can throw around diamond watches like confetti for some guy she just met. I told you I felt responsible for your predicament. So you said. Still, it was a very generous gesture. It's just a watch. A gift from my father, which means he had no idea what he'd given me. The secretary buys the gifts he gives me. <laughs> Sounds like dear old dad's a winner. Well, he's a character. He always has his secretary do these inscriptions. Love, father. He wouldn't be able to tell you my birth date if his life depended on it. He doesn't know any of our birthdays. A real family man, huh? Yes, as a matter of fact, my whole family is like him. They're all like strangers. It sounds familiar. So I take it you didn't have a lot of sentimental value in that watch. It's just a watch. Nevertheless, I don't want anyone else paying off my debts. Even if you did cause me to lose the game, I'm still going to repay you. Why don't you start repaying me right now? Don't let her off the stand without grilling her. You have got to do something, and fast. Teresa, the question Dr. Russell at this point won't do us any good. She's a credible witness. So you're not going to do anything? You're going to sit there and, and let them get away with this? We have to let the judge review the evidence and make a decision. No, we don't have to do anything. Please, Your Honor, don't listen to this. 
In the hospital that night, Gwen tried to kill me twice. She knew exactly what she was doing. Ms. Lopez Fitzgerald, sit down. All this stuff that they're talking about, the, 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 this drug stuff, it, it's just, it's crazy. They don't have any real proof that that's why Gwen attacked me. Your Honor, she hates me. She's hated me for years. Teresa, don't do this. I'm not gonna be shut down. I need to tell her what really happened since you're not doing it. We have the testimony of an expert witness. A former drug addict? I mean, she, she's a, a charged with attempted murder herself? She's just a suspected serial killer. Teresa, stop it. It's the truth, isn't it? I'm sorry, Whitney, but this is about my child and my family. I'm fighting for my life here. Mr. District Attorney, please get this woman under control or I'll find her in contempt of court. Oh, my God. I mean, now she's attacking her best friend's mother. Well, she'll certainly win the crown for Queen of Vicious. You may step down, Dr. Russell. I hope I haven't made things worse for Gwen. No. And thank you for being here. I'm sorry you had to put up with Teresa's attack. I know you're desperate right now, but what you said about my mother was wrong. I've gone too far this time. I had to do it, Mama. How could you, Teresa? How could you be so cruel, so vicious? I can't lose. I can't. Ethan, what do you think's gonna happen? I don't know. Judge has all the facts and all the testimony. You can just hope for the best. Why don't we get out of here? So you can pay off your debt in full. <laughs> Isn't that the area code for Harmony? Yes, it is. Do you know someone in Harmony? Yeah, I do. Amazing. It really is a small world, isn't it? It certainly is. <laughs> Mom, are you okay? Yes. Yes, sweetheart, I'm fine. Look, I'm sorry you had to go through that. I mean, Teresa didn't mean anything she said. She's just, she's just desperate right now. I know. Besides, she only told the truth, didn't she? My past always comes back to haunt me, no matter how much good I may try to do. Well, um, I'm sorry. I don't want you re regretting your decisions the way I have. Mother, please, we've been through all of this. I know. But I am afraid that you are making a mistake in not telling Chad that he's the father of your baby and in giving your baby up for adoption. I think these are mistakes that are going to haunt you forever. Whitney, you haven't even seen your baby's face. You haven't held yes, him. Yes, I have, Mom. I've seen my baby. I've held him. I've even nursed him. Whitney, honey, that's wonderful. Now you know the miracle of a baby. The love that you feel, the bond that you have with your son that will never be broken. How do you, I know you just must be so happy. No, no, mom, please stop it. I'm not happy. There was no miracle, okay? Nothing has changed. I never want to see my baby again. I can't. Order in the court. Does the district attorney have anything to add? Uh, no, Your Honor, not at this time. Mr. Winthrop, are you prepared to make your motion? I am, Your Honor. Your Honor, in lieu of the new evidence presented here today, 
The medical studies backed up by the case studies of similar incidents, as well as the expert testimony of Dr. Eve Russell. I respectfully move that all charges against Gwen Winthrop be dismissed. Furthermore, I move that full custody of my daughter, Jane Winthrop, be awarded to myself and my wife, Gwen Winthrop. So what do you think? Is the judge gonna rule in our favor? I don't know. All we can do is hope. Baby, I'm finally gonna get you back. I knew I was right. I knew Beth was behind everything, all the horrible things that happened. Soon, Luis is gonna walk through that door with our son. And you'll be home right where you belong. No one is ever gonna take you away from us. Ever again. Hey, thanks for coming. really difficult for me. Um, you might want to sit down. What I have to tell you is going to shock you. You're not going to believe it. Boy, that's an understatement. So what is it, Beth? You said you had some sort of confession to make. I don't really know where to start. I don't know how everything got so out of control. I've done something terrible. Something so horrible to you and Sheridan. My conscience won't let me live with this guilt. I have to confess. As soon as Beth goes to jail, he'll be bringing Marty home to us. The baby needs a name, and I want you to help him pick it. That judge in there is going to change all of our lives any minute. Actually, a judge has reached her decision. 